Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 458. Ego Defenses. What is Ego Defenses? Ego Defenses is unconscious mental process used to resolve conflict and prevent undesirable feeling. Give an example of some undesirable feelings that a person would try to prevent by using Ego Defense. Ego defenses can be used to prevent undesirable feelings such as anxiety or depression. Name the 13 immature defenses. The 13 immature defenses include acting out, dissociation, denial, displacement, fixation, identification, isolation, projection, rationalization, reaction formation, regression, repression, and splitting. What is the immature ego defense acting out? The immature ego defense acting out is unacceptable feeling and thoughts are expressed through action. What is an example of acting out? The example of acting out is tantrums. So in this, just because the person is having unacceptable feeling or having bad thoughts, they're expressing this through their actions by throwing tantrums. What is immature ego defense dissociation? Immature ego defense dissociation is temporary drastic changes in personality, memory, consciousness, or motor behavior to avoid emotional stress. So these patients will go through drastic changes just to avoid that emotional stress. What can extreme forms of dissociation lead to? Extreme forms of dissociation can lead to dissociative identity disorder, which is the multiple personality disorder. What is the immature ego defense denial? The immature ego defense denial is avoidance of awareness of some painful reality. So these patients just choose not to believe in some painful reality. Give an example of denial. An example of denial would be when a patient gets diagnosed with AIDS or cancer, the patient is commonly going to react by not believing it. So that is form of denial. What is immature ego defense displacement? Immature ego defense displacement is a process whereby avoided idea and feeling are transferred to some neutral person or objects. So this is when somebody takes their anger out on some person or some object just because something else is the problem. Give an example of displacement. An example of displacement would be a mother yells at her child because her husband yelled at her. What is immature ego defense fixation? Immature ego defense fixation is partially remaining at a more childish level of development. Give an example of fixation. An example of fixation would be when men are fixating on sports games. Another example would be when grown men are into comic books and toys and things like that. What is immature ego defense identification? Immature ego defense identification is when a person is modeling the behavior after another person who is more powerful. So in this situation, a person just acts like another powerful person, even though that person might not be admired. Give an example of identification. An example of identification would be an abused child identifies himself or herself with an abuser. What is immature ego defense isolation? The immature ego defense isolation is when separation of feelings from ideas and events. So in this case, a person just does not have the feeling when they're talking about some ideas or events that occurred. Give an example of isolation. An example of isolation would be describing a murder in graphic details but with no emotional response. What is the immature ego defense projection? The immature ego defense projection is an unacceptable internal impulse which is attributed to an external source. So this is just to give a reason for something that a person is doing. What is an example of projection? An example of projection would be a man who wants to be with another woman, thinks his wife is cheating on him, just to make it understandable or okay in his own eyes. A quick note here would be to understand the difference between displacement and projection. They are not the same thing, so please look over both of these things just to make sure you understand the difference. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.